So good day children. Once again, welcome to this class. And uh, today we will read the second part of the previous lesson that we were reading, Should Vizadhat Mommy. So previously we have seen that father, he told Joe, Jack is father and he told his daughter Joe that uh, Rajas Khan, he met out, out sent him to wizard and then wizard asked him about the uh, which uh, fragrance he wanted, which what kind of smell he wanted. So he told him that he wanted the smell of roses. So he changed the smell of that Rajas Khan and now Rajas Khan was very happy. So after that we will see what happened. The wizard asked him for the penny. So the Rajas Khan he said I have only got four penny. I don't have much. I have got four penny and then he began to cry. And when he began to cry in the story as the father was telling, Jo also made her face as if she wanted to cry because she was also feeling very bad for the Rajas Khan. And uh, Jack was getting very impatient because he could hear the sound of the dragging of the furniture downstairs because his wife was painting and he wanted to go and help her but his daughter was not sleeping so he was getting very annoyed at her. So after that so the wizard said, oh very well, go to the end of the lane and turn around three times and look down the magic well and there you will find three pennies. So the wizard told him that you go from here, you will find one lane, over there you turn three rounds, turn around three times and then you look inside the well and you will find three pennies over here. So, and he said, hurry up, go fast and then bring the penny and come back. So he did as he did, as he was told. And then he went to his friends, where his friends were. And they were very happy that he was spelling so good. And they played different games like tag, baseball, football, basketball, lacrosse hockey, soccer and pick up sticks. So now the daughter asked what is pick up sticks? So he said it's a game in which we play and we pick up the sticks. So she asked is it like the wizard's magic band? So he said no it was not like that and then he started laughing. He said it was getting evening time getting dark. So all the animals, they ran towards their homes to meet their mommy because their mommy might have been waiting for them. Jo was starting to fuss with her hands. Jo did not want the story to end. So she started making different, different um, postures and then she looked out of the window and then she thought the story was over. Jack said, no, the story is not like that. He went on. He said, you listen to me. Because this is very interesting what happened next. And then when Rogers come, he went to his mommy. He went to his own house. The mommy said, what kind of a smell you are coming here? Often smell is coming out of you. Because she was used to the stinky smell. So she said, you are... Your smell is very bad, it's stinking. What Rogers Khan said, it's me mommy, I smell like roses. He said, no mommy, I smell like roses and I like the smell very much. And my friends also liked it, they played with me and all kind of fun I had with my friends. So this mommy, she got angry at him and he, she asked him, who made you smell like this? So he told her that it was the wizard that helped him to smell like roses. 
So she said, you come with me, write that. We'll go and ask that awful wizard that why you have done like this. So Jo, when she heard this, she sat up because she did not want Roger's come to smell bad again. So daddy said, you don't worry, you keep on listening. All right, he said, but mommy, all the other little animal run away. And she said, I don't care. And she said, Ki, I'll tell wizard to make you smell previous smell means previous smell that, that was there should be uh, should come back to you so he said ki mother don't let me do that and let me stink means uh, rose smell uh, must come out of me and uh, let it be don't go to the um, wizard don't ask him to change my smell he said, because all children like me, and she said no. She was definite that she'll go back, and she took her umbrella with him, with her, and went back with Roger's tongue and hit that wizard right over the head. And with the umbrella, she hit the wizard on the head. No, Joseph. So he said, no, no, it should not happen. And she put out her hand to close his mouth that he, sh he shouldn't tell this kind of story. No change should come and the wizard and the uh, Roger's come so should smell like roses and he should end up the story. So then what happened? The father told her. Then the wizard hit her on the head and did not change the little skunk man. So she asked, given the mother she hit wizard on her, his head with the umbrella. I think the wizard should have hit the mother on her head and he shouldn't have changed the smell of the Roger's skunk. No, he said. Wizard said okay. Mm -hmm. And Roger's skunk did not smell of roses anymore. So the story did not go on like that. The wizard, he said alright. And then he changed the smell of the Roger's skunk and again he started smelling bad. Then Joe said, what happened then? It's daddy's story. Then Jack told her that daddy is telling the story, better keep quiet. And if you don't want to listen, I will stop the story. I will not tell you any of the stories from now onwards. And uh, the daughter, she was very much surprised that what happened then. Then what happened after that? Roger, Skunk and his mommy went home and they heard woo woo and it was the cuckoo train bringing daddy Skunk home from Boston. When Roger Skunk went home with his mother, they could hear the sound of the train and by that train, his father was coming back from Boston. And they had limba beans, celery, liver, mashed potatoes, pie oh, oh my, for dessert. And when Roger's skunk was in bed, mommy skunk came up and hugged him and said he smelled like a little baby skunk again. And she loved him very much and that's the end of the story. And then... These things they had for the meals, in the night they had the dinner and in the dinner they had all these things and then when Roger Skunk went to bed, the mother, she went to him and she hugged him and she said, now you smell like my little baby and then she said, I love you very much and this is the end of the story. So the daughter did not want the story to end in this manner. She wanted the story to end in a better way. So she said, he next then other animals again ran away from her. No. Father said no. They got used to the way he was and did not mind it at all. And those animals, those little animals, those were, were the friends of Roger's gun. They got used to his smell and they started playing with him. They never mind him. 
What even shall do in a little while? That was a stupid mommy. And she said the mommy was very stupid. The mother was very stupid. And he said no. And then he said now I want you to put your big heavy head in the pillow and have a good long nap. Now you put your head in the pillow and you go to sleep. He adjusted the shade and the curtains he put properly and then he quietly went out of the room and she pretended as she was asleep and when he turned she was crouching on the top of the covers and staring at him and when he reached the door and he turned to see the girl was not sleeping at all hey get under the covers and fall fast asleep baby and she and he said hey your brother bobby is asleep so you also go and sleep don't disturb him she stood up and she started jumping and she called out daddy what tomorrow i want you to tell me the story that wizard took the magic wand and hit that mommy now she wanted the father to tell her that the wizard hit the mommy in turn her plump arm chopped forcefully and then his her hand should have been chopped out right over the head no that's not the story father said no that is not the story the point is that the little skunk loved his mommy more than he loved all the other little animals and then he told her the moral of the lesson that the roger skunk he loved his mother more than the other animals and she knew what was right and the mother means the parents they know what is right for the children now tomorrow you say he hit that mommy don't it she kicked her her legs up and sat down on the bed with a great heave and complaint of springs as she had done hundreds of time before except she did not laugh say daddy so she forced his da her daddy to say the story that way he the wizard he hit the mommy on her head and he harmed her well father said okay we'll see tomorrow you stay in the bed you are a good girl you have rest and let me go and do the work he closed the door and went downstairs then he went down his wife she was spreading the newspaper she opened the paint can and she was wearing old shirt of his and she was dragging the chair then she dipped the brush and then she was painting and on top he could hear the footsteps of his daughter shall i come up there and spank you the footstep hesitated then the father he shouted at his daughter that shall i come up and give you a good beating so the footsteps could not be heard that was a long story claire said so the wife she said to her husband claire is the wife and she said to her husband jack that the story that you told her today was very long so he told her the poor kid he told poor joe with utter weariness washed his wife labor and he was very much tired he looked at his wife she was laboring a lot she was working the woodwork a cage of molding and braid and baseball all around her was half old tan and half new ivory he felt caught in an ugly bedding position now he was very much disturbed because he was caught between his wife and his daughter and more of the work that was done by his wife half was done and half was not done though he was well felt his wife's presence in the cage with him and now he felt as if he was bound he was caught in a cage with his wife he did not want to speak with her work with her touch her anything and don't know what kind of thinking was there in his mind that he did not want to talk to her he did not want to touch to her touch her he did not want to work with her and he wanted to run away from that place 
So this is the end of the story. Altogether, the father wanted to tell his daughter that uh, the parents, they accept their children as they are, whether they are good or bad, but their children are their children only. They don't want any change. As the Rajas Khan's mother, she did not like the smell of the roses that he had. She wanted him to smell the same stinky way, the awful smell. So, you all get the story, you all get the lesson from this, that whatever your parents are doing for you, it is quite enough and you should all accept them, you should all favor them and whatever they want you to do, you should do that. So, that's all for today children and uh, I hope you must have understood and if you are not able to understand the lesson, read the lesson and listen to the explanation. Okay.